<laughs> this is going to be funny. <laughs> All right, so today we're out here. We're going to talk to Jason about his pet peeve, uh, which has to deal with uh, the pan and tilt and the gimbal speed. Yeah, so this is something that um, easy to fix. Uh, a lot of new people that get their new drones, you know, like they, they like to post their videos up on social media, and we've all clicked on that video to check it out. And these things just kind of glare to me. You know, you got this this drone flying across a body of water or a park or a forest, and it's really pretty. And then all of a sudden, it gets to the end of the line, and it turns so fast it hurts your head. Yeah. yeah. Or they tilt down to see something, get something, and it's just it's just ridiculous. Like the drones on speed or something. Exactly. And and so that's just something that we can change to really easily improve the quality of our video. If you, you know, if you pay attention, and it's funny, the more we do this, the more you pay attention to cinematography. You know, you're watching the movie, and and if you really pay attention generally they don't pan or tilt in a shot and when they do you almost don't notice it unless you're paying attention so yeah. so we've got this phantom four here and we're, we're going to go ahead and take it up we've done some pre-shots to show what we're talking about and we're going to go ahead and get in the air and and, and make the adjustments that we're talking about so let's go yeah, ahead and, and just so you know I don't think that you don't have to make these adjustments that you can you know just not be easy easy on the sticks because it's not going to work uh, no matter how hard you try you're always going to jump and, and, and move quickly, even if you're making small movements with your thumb. So it's much better to do this method to adjust it inside the program and on the drone to, to make everything. Yeah, smooth. definitely. I mean, these drones aren't designed to be raced around and flown sporty, you know, yeah. like an FPV drone. These are designed to take videography and cinematography shots. So really adjust to here. I mean, being smooth on the stick helps, but there's only so much you can do, like yeah. you said. So and the smoother, the better, better it looks. So you, you up your game quite a bit by smoothing everything. Exactly. So let's go ahead and take off here. And slide take off and we'll go ahead and start recording. And it's going. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get up here to altitude above all of our poles and all yeah, that good sure stuff. No, yes. You have to put OK over here, right there. Good call. Right there. There we go. Exactly the same lady. Okay, cool. So now we're up to altitude here. Make sure our altitude looks good. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to fly out here a little bit. And our video is completely frozen. We're going to do some panning and tilting. It's because we're looking the opposite way. We should like put the cameras over here. Okay, so we're, so we're going to go like this, just, just so we can, we can get our video feed live. There we go, a little bit better. Okay, cool. So now, first change we want to make. We're going to fly out here a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do our turn. And it's just too fast. So we enter the settings with the three dots up at the top right of the, of the, the app, the Go app. And we're going to go to the drone settings first. And we're going to go to, let's scroll, where was it here? Advanced settings. Maybe we will. We'll figure this out. So we'll go to sensitivity. Sorry, it's not advanced. And we're going to do our yaw movement limit, and we're going to move this down. Let's bring that drone over to the left a little bit. Okay. There we go. I'll put it over that field there. You go. Okay, so now we're over here. So I'm going to bring this down. I like to put it probably around 100, maybe even a little lower, but let's go ahead and see what that does. And that so is what, on the yaw movement? This is on the yaw yeah. movement on the, on the drone itself. Yep. So now you can already see it's it's much smoother, and that's full full control of it. That's full full stick it's still a little fast though so we'll we go can see that. we can see that well you'll play the video because i'm recording right now so we'll go back here and we'll go back to our sensitivity hopefully go back to the drone yaw movement let's move it down to about 60 now so there's so right now you're just dealing with 57 just, the drone just yeah well the yaw is controlled by the drone the tilt is controlled by the gimbal so they're in two different places right. on the app and we do have gimbal speed that's also controlled. So, yeah, there you go. You mess it all up all the time. Man. I guess so, man. I think it's just you touching it. Maybe. It so now, don't let Jason touch don't let, drone. Don't let me touch your drone. So, anyway, so now that's full stick yaw movement, and it's, it's much more controllable. And if I give it half stick, now we can get that nice, easy pan like we're talking about. So now we're going to go back into the settings. Actually, first let's look at the other one we're talking about. And this is the, the gimbal movement, the tilt up and down. So we go down and it goes really fast you can see it on the dots yeah. even though we're not yeah, getting a live feed boom, boom. it's just up Real and down quick. and that's just too fast so we're going to go back into the settings again and this time we're going to go down to where it says camera the, the bottom and we're going to do gimbal pitch speed and we're going to move that to about 30. we don't need 100 percent pitch speed so we'll move that down to about 30. so we're slowing the, Exit the out. gimbal down so it just doesn't react as quickly exactly so now if you watch the the gimbal indicator you can see it's moving much slower 
I can go full speed and get a little faster, but it's not like it was before where it was less than a second. Hey, you really broke my thing, man. I did. I did. I'm sorry. Okay, well, you can do it next time. <laughs> okay, so now there's another there's another setting in there. If we go back into the gimbal, and we're back in the camera here, gimbal pitch smoothness. And what this does is this changes how quickly it transitions from stationary to moving. Yeah, well, so even if you have it moving quickly, you can have it kind of ramp up its speed. Yeah, that's what it's doing, it's ramping up speed. So when you, when you hit, it's not proportional. So when you hit the stick, it starts moving slowly as it builds up and then slows yeah, down. Yeah, so you don't get that jerk, point. and exactly. it also doesn't stop really quickly. So you don't want to put this too high. I got it at about 15, which is about half of what it can do. Yeah. So now we can take a look and we can, pull, we can tilt down, and you can see it gets a nice, easy start down. Uh, or it doesn't move at all. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm it going does. the wrong way. Yeah, I'm just going. <laughs> Backwards. Doesn't move that way. We it's know that and then we can move back up, and it kind of ramps it up. Yeah. So those two things will will really help just smooth out your video. So what we'll do is um, maybe we can get some shots and do some recordings, kind of like what we did with the pre-shots, and just yeah. get you know kind of show. We'll do the same thing, fly off across the park, and do a nice slow pan and tilt. But these are just things that are really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to improve the way that your video looks and, you know, give it a more cinematic look uh, all the way around. So smoothness is important on both your flying and the movement of the camera and the camera gimbal. Yeah, and I mean, luckily, these drones do a lot to smooth out the, the your pitch forward and, you know, and your right to left, your your roll rate. You know, the gimbal is really stabilizing, even if the drone's going crazy. If I'm wiggling a stick here and the drone's going nuts up there, the yeah, picture stays solid. solid. But these movements are, aren't as corrected and it has to pan and it has to tilt. So well, those movements are inputted by you. Exactly, you know, so, so you gotta smooth them out. Exactly. you supposed to go that way. Exactly. All right, so make sure you do that. That way he stops his whining to me all yeah, the time when we look at it because he always sends the motor and says, look at this one. So yeah. don't do that anymore. Don't make me mad. All right, and there you go. So we will talk to you very soon. Dude, I break these things, take it. I know, man. I was just flying this thing all over the place and had not one, one hit. That disconnected. We got that disconnected. All right. Hey, dude, that was pretty good today, man. Yeah, I, th nice I think I think that came I think that came out pretty good. Yeah, I, I think so too. Wait What's a right? second. Is he still watching? What the hell, dude? Hey. If you're still there, click the subscribe button. Why are they not doing Some that? Some people. Oh, man. And don't forget a like. We're gonna like.